Hi everyone, welcome to Ideation HQ, your one-stop channel for the latest news and updates in regards to digital learning technologies. In today's episode, we will be looking at how you can create a new Google Classroom. And this can be done in two ways, which is to create a new Google Classroom from scratch or to copy the Google Classroom from an existing Google Classroom. So here at Ideation HQ, we want our videos to be informative and as detailed as possible that will cater for the wide spectrum of um, educators out there. So if you are an advanced user of Google Classroom, you may want to use the timeline below to go to the section that you are interested in. All right, so without wasting any more time, let's get started. So I'm now at the landing page of Google Classroom, and let's now create a new Google Classroom by clicking on the plus icon or symbol here. Two options, and let's click on the create class. So let's now rename this class, for example, year seven mathematics. And here you may want to add in some other details. Say for example, I'm going to add in the owner of this Google Classroom and the subject. And if you have some information about um, where this class has been conducted, you can also um, fill this up. So I'm just going to put in an arbitrary room number and then click on Create. So this is my new Google Classroom. Let's go to the Classwork tab. And as you can see here, this Google Classroom is empty. And you can start populating this Google Classroom by clicking on the Create button and choosing whether you want to create an assignment, a question, a material, or a topic. Let's have a look at this Google Classroom here, which is my Year 12 Visual Communication Design Google Classroom. As you can see here, this is for the current academic year, which is 2021. And say, for example, in the new academic year, which is 2022, I would like to use most of the resources that I have created um, on this Google Classroom. So in this case here, I'm not starting from scratch. And what I would like to do is that I would like to bring over all my teaching resources to the new academic year and then tweak my program uh, from there by adding or deleting some of the resources that I have. So for us to be able to do that, let's click on the three dot icon here and then click on copy. Your educational institution may have their own way to standardize the naming convention for the Google Classroom. So you may want to follow that. In this case here, I'm just going to um, make a copy of that and call it the year 12 visual communication design Google Classroom. I'm going to update the year to 2022. And um, this is the department that is owning the Google Classroom. And I am also changing this to 2022. All right. And once I'm done with this, I can just click on copy and your Google Classroom will be copied or duplicated for the upcoming year. So on the top of your page, you will see the new Google Classroom with the new academic year indicated here. Let's have a look at this Google Classroom and click on Classworks. Here you will see that all the tabs and the resources have been copied over to this new Google Classroom. They are all in draft mode, which is good because it's going to allow you to make changes and modifications to those tabs and resources before posting it out to your students. So in today's tutorial, I shared two ways where you can create new Google Classroom for the new academic year. Now, which method to choose is totally up to you. If you're starting on a new program and you would like to have a complete overhaul of that teaching program, then probably it's a good idea to start creating your Google Classroom from scratch. However, if you're a teacher that have accumulated all these wonderful resources over the years, it is probably a good idea for you to create a copy of a Google Classroom and then making modifications for the new teaching year from that Google Classroom. Please remember to click on the like button. And if you want to see more of this type of videos, please remember to subscribe to Ideation HQ. So I'll see you again next time. Bye.